All right, so real quick, I want you to pull your belly button into your spine. We're still warming up. We're just going to chin to chest, roll it down, and roll it back up. So let's just do some rolls. So we're going to roll it down, touch the ground, bend your knees, roll it back up. All right, okay, roll it down again, touch the ground, bend your knees, roll it back up. One more time, roll it down. Touch the ground, bend your knees, roll it up. Okay, a few sun sows. Inhale up, exhale all the way down. Give me a half lift. Now just forward fold, and then come all the way back up with a flat back. There you go, exhale down. Half lift, inhale. Exhale all the way into forward fold. Good job, and bring it back up. All right, one more time, exhale down, inhale, half lift, good job, forward fold. Now bend your knees, roll it up. Let's just do some squats here. So we're just warming up our body, warming up those areas. So what's really important when you do legs, which a lot of people don't realize when you do legs, is that you're also working your core, your core section. So. You always want to keep that belly button tucked in towards your spine, even when you're doing a squat or lunge or side lunge, anything like that. You always want to make sure you're activating those abdominal muscles. Good job. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of hip openers. So you're just going to step back, rotate that hip, rotate, rotate. Good job, you guys. Rotate. All right, rotate, keep going, good job. Okay, just a few side lunges. Just wanna go off to the left here and just kind of hang out. Just warming up, I wanna make sure, especially when we're working with our slides, that we don't start with cold muscles. All right, switch to the other side. Good job. All right, okay, so for this first section, it's block one. I'm gonna show you the moves first. You're only gonna need one slide. So we'll start with this right foot. You only need one slide. Okay, you're gonna have your left foot on the ground, stationary, and one on a slide, a towel, or a paper plate, right? So let me just show you the moves first, okay? So our first move is we're gonna squat with this left knee low to the ground, hands on your waist or hips, and you're just going to spin this with this knee staying bent the whole time, okay? Our second move is a side single leg squat, bringing it back up. Third move, all the way back, all the way forward, all the way back, all the way forward. Fourth move, a bull. All right, so we're gonna do 10 of each and then we, we do 10 of one and then we switch. What's important here is that, and what will help and what helps with this is that it's really forcing you to stay in good form, um, but also that you, um, you press down on the slide, okay? That'll help you, okay? All right, so let's do those first, um, I call them ballet circles. So go ahead and single leg squat with that left knee and let's do some ballet circles. So you're gonna go forward, around to the back, and meet back at neutral. And again, that's two. <laughs> that's three. <laughs> Good job, that's four. So you wanna make sure you're balancing, right? So your modification here would be not to go so low. All right, you can bring it up a little bit if you want to. If you wanna deepen it, you just come down a little bit lower, but you always make sure that your knee is not over your toe. All right, I'm pretty sure that's 10. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, now side lunge. So out, same leg, bring it back in. That's two. Good job. Three. Okay, make sure your belly button is in towards your spine. Good job. I can always count on my class goers to count for me. <laughs> Sometimes we forget to count. Okay, we got two more. 
Are you feeling the burn? Make sure your chest stays up. Last one. Good job. Okay, now we're going to go back. Reverse lunge. Down. Bring it back up. Down. Bring it back up. So your weight on this left foot is on your heel, yes? You could lift your toes up if you wanted to. That's four. Good job. Six. Seven. Do you feel the burn? I feel the burn. <laughs> All right, one more last one. Good job. All right, let's bowl. Here we go. We're going to bowl back. Bowl and bring it up. So your modification again here is just not to go so low. It makes it harder with the slides. You have to be in good form. You don't have a choice or you're going to fall over, right? So you don't have to go so low. So in this bowl, you want your booty sticking out, really using that hip, that hip muscle there. Good job. Give me four more, four, and we are going slow, but that's on purpose. Three, two, last one, good job. All right, we're going to switch to the other side. So take that other slide, and we just start straight to the other side. So bend that right knee, circle, good job. I call them ballet circles because they just remind me of my dancing days back as a kid. <laughs> Can you give me two more? Good job. All right, let's do that side lunge. So down and up. Down and up. Down. Nice and easy. There's no reason to force it here or to push it. So I want you to feel whatever your body's feeling. And if you need to ease up, ease up. If you want to go deeper, go deeper. Three more. Two more. Last one. All right, we move into that reverse lunge so that left leg goes back. Back. Ooh. Ooh, this one's hard for me. This side, it's hard to balance. So make sure that that foot is, that foot is pressed into the ground. Good job. Are you sweating yet? <laughs> Good work. All right, let's do that bowl. Let's do that bowl. One, two, are you counting in your head? Three, four, five, six, Seven, three more, eight, nine, last one, good job, all right, shake it out, give me one inhale, exhale, we're not going to take that much of a break, give me a half lift, bend your left knee, bend your right knee, stretch it out a little bit. We're going to do it again on each side, but you can do it. I know you can. All right. I'm breathing hard too, if you can hear me. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Bend both knees. Roll it up. All right. Other side. That was a short break. <laughs> All right. Right leg again. Here we go. So bend that left leg. Let's do our circles. One. Two, so we're gonna go a little quicker this time because we know the moves, right? Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Good job, now we go to the side. Down and all the way in. Down, bring it all the way in. All the way in. Woo! So you could easily do this in shoes or no shoes. Some people like the feeling of no shoes. Give me two more. Last one. All right, let's do that reverse lunge. Right leg goes back. Down and up. Now this is really forcing you to keep that form and use those muscles. Using the right muscles. So you'll feel it tomorrow. Give me five more. Last one. Good job, give me a bowl, give me a bowl. One, two, three, four. And this is easy enough to do at home yourself, right? Wherever you are, in a hotel room. Woo. All right, we got three more. Last two. Last one. Good job. All right, switch sides. No rest for the weary. Let's bend that right knee, left leg goes out. Circle. Good job. Last one. Okay, let's do that side. Out. Really focus on those muscles you're trying to use. Research shows that when we focus on the muscle we want to strengthen, that we're trying to use, we use it more. So just by focusing on it, you're actually strengthening it because you're using it more. All right? Woo, three more. Last two. Last one. Here we go. All right, that leg goes back. Reverse lunge. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, last one. All right, ten bowlers. You're almost done with this block. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, woo, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right, inhale up. Exhale all the way down for me. Woo, half lift. Hold it here. Hold that half lift. Just hold it here. Good job. All right, bend that right knee. Now bend the left. Bend the right. Bend the left. Good job. All right, we're gonna ditch the slides just for a second and we're gonna do some squats. So the squat looks like this. Down, squat, up. That's one. 
All right, so it's kind of like a triple pulse up, all right? And then we're gonna move into just holding it down, all right? That's our block, that's it. All right, so no slides here, just your body. <laughs> all right, so give me 12 squats, here we go. So it's down, squat, up. Down, squat, up. Squat, touch, squat, that's three. Squat, touch the ground, squat, that's four. Squat, touch the ground, squat, that's five. Squat, touch the ground, squat, that's six. Right? It's kind of like a triple pulse squat. Seven. Eight. So we're not taking a lot of breaks here on purpose, right? All right, hold it down for me. Hold it down. Squat here, pulses. You got this. Hold it. Booty back, booty back. Come on, belly button in towards your spine. Weight in your heels, knees not going past your toes. You can still see your toes if you look down. Come on, come on. Good job, all right, bring it in, inhale up. Yes. Forward fold, but we're gonna do it again. Bend your knees, roll it up. Woo. Shake it out, give yourself 30 seconds. You could stretch if you want, but we are gonna do it again. All right, yeah. I always like to stretch in between. Don't worry, we'll stretch after too. Here we go, squats, down and up. Squat, touch, squat, and up. Squat, touch, squat, that's three. Squat, touch, squat, that's four. Squat, touch, squat, that's five. Squat, touch, squat, six. Good job, good job, keep it up. Come on, come on, breathe. You got this, you got this. You could do anything, right? You could do anything. Give me three more. That's it, just three more. Two more. You can do it, come on. Last one. Except now we're gonna hold it down and pulse. Here we go. Hold it, hold it. Come on. Give me more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good job, good job, oh, shake it out, get some water if you want, that one really raises your heart rate, good work, all right, I'm going to just show you what we're going to do, you're going to need both slides, but we're going to be in a plank position, all right, so we're going to be in a plank, your, your toes are going to be on the sides. We're just going to open and close, working those outer inner thighs, okay? Open, close. If for some reason this hurts on your wrists, you can come down to your elbows. If that hurts for any reason, your option would be in all fours and alternating out in, all right? So those are your options. You take which works for you. We're gonna do two, excuse me, we're gonna do 10 out ins. After we do that out in, we're gonna bring one foot forward, lunge, stretch it out, bring it back, switch, lunge, stretch it out, okay? So here we go. Everybody get ready, toes on slides. Your arms are underneath your shoulders. Your belly button is in towards your spine. Push those legs out into a plank, those toes out. Here we go, let's open and close, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. If you're having a hard time, you gotta push your toes into the slides. That makes it easier. Three more, three, two, last one. Good job, okay, bring that right leg forward, lunge. Hold it here with that slide. Good job, switch. Left leg forward. Good job. Switch right leg forward. 
Woo. Good job. Switch, left leg forward. Good job. All right. Now, just to give yourself a break, you can come into child's pose. Release your arms just for a second. Give yourself a chance to breathe, but we won't be here too long. All right, come back up. We're going to do that same section again one more time. Belly button in towards your spine. All right, here we go. Push those toes back. Open and close. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring that right leg forward lunge. Woo. How's that feel? Your heart rate up? That's good. Switch sides, left leg forward. Getting a stretch in too, that's important. Switch sides, right leg forward. Woo, yes. Switch sides, left leg forward. Good work. All right, so go ahead and ditch the slides again. And if you have a mat, now would be the time to get it. Or you can use a towel, whichever you prefer under your knees. <clears throat> Give you a second to get whatever you have. We're gonna be in all fours. I'm just gonna use my towel and put it under my knees. I'm on a hard floor. I'm gonna face this way for now. So this first thing we're gonna do is just warm up our hips, although we're, they should feel pretty warm right now. We're just, uh, maybe I'll show you from the side. So this first section, your belly button's in towards your spine. You're gonna lift, open, circle. So it's just a hip circle, all right? Um, that next move, excuse me. <clears throat> maybe the side angle view is the best view. Okay, so we're gonna do those circles. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extend out open side come back down bring it in that's our next move third move all the way down on your sh elbows you're going to pretend that you have a weight up here on the ball of your foot or on the heel of your foot you're going to bring it in and you're going to push up second or fourth move that is we're just going to pulse it up okay on the on the elbows all right here we go so you're in all fours on your knees here we go, we're gonna start with that. Let's start with that left leg and we're gonna open up our hips. So hip circles, right? So this is loosening your hips, but it's also strengthening your hips. Give me two more. Good job. All right, so now we're gonna extend out to the side, open up, bring it in. Give me 10 of those, so that's one, two. So out, side, back in, that's three. Out, side, back in, that's four. Good job. Keep going. Can you give me five more? So the point of this is to try and not move your spine too much. And it's okay if you don't go out too far. <clears throat> You're also working your core here. So make sure your belly button is tucked in. Can you give me three more? Woo! Last two. Last one. Woo, yes. All right, so now bring it down to your elbows. And now we're gonna flex that foot, bring it in and up. That's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Remember to focus on that muscle. Four, what are you trying to work? Three, two, last one. All right, hold it up and pulse, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
You're done. Good work. All right. Well, you're not totally done because you need to do the other side. Right? Here we go. We're almost done. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. So right leg, belly button in. Your spine is straight. Your tailbone's a little tucked. All right. Because this is not a straight spine. This is not a straight spine. This is a straight spine. All right. Here we go. Hip circles. So up in a circle and back. Up in a circle and back. Good job. Give me three more. Last two. And last one. All right, here we go. Out, side, bring it back in. That's one. Out, side, bring it back in. That's two. Out, side, bring it back in. Three. Out, side, four five, six, seven, eight, whoo, nine, try not to move that spine, good job, all right, go ahead, come down to those elbows, flex foot, bring it in and up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, that's it. Good job. Come into child's pose. Good work. All right, just a few bridges that are also some stretch, also some stretching. We'll be all done. All right, so if you have a mat, just go ahead and lay it down. If you have a towel, you can fold it out. We're going to lay down supine on our backs. Here we go. So what I want you to do is I want you to take that left ankle Place it over that right thigh so you're, you're in a figure four position. I want you to give me 10 bridges in this position. So it's a gentle up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. You just did a lot of work. We're kind of stretching here, kind of still working. Give me three more. Last two. Last one. Good job. Switch sides. Right on top of left, right ankle on top of left. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven six. So you're really focusing on squeezing your glutes, not your back. It's in your glutes. So I really want you to focus on squeezing that. Good job. Last two. Last one. All right. Both heels on the ground. Give me 10 bridges with both heels on the ground. Here we go. Up and down. Down. Eight. Good job. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Hold it up. Hold it up. Give me little pulses. Ten, nine. This is it. This is it. Just finish it. Four, three, two, one, and done. Good job. Hug your knees in. Good job, you guys. You did it. You did it. Hug your knees. Circle your ankles if you want. All right, this time go ahead. Put your heels down. We're just going to stretch it out. I want you to take that left ankle on your right thigh. We're going to do a lying down pigeon. And I just want you to lift up that foot, bring it in. You can grab on the back of your thigh if you'd like, if that feels good. Or if you're more flexible, you can grab onto that shin and pull it in. 
As you pull in, I want you to focus on bringing your tailbone down. So the stretch happens when you bring that tailbone down. So you can, you might have to get up, grab, and bring it back down. And if your hips are up, I want you to try to focus on bringing that tailbone down wherever you're at and breathe. You did a great job. All right. So if you feel it tomorrow, you can stretch, you can roll it out. <clears throat> you can do some mobility work with Claudine. All right, switch sides. Go ahead, place that right ankle on top of left and hug in that other side. Again, focusing on bringing it in, but also bringing that tailbone down to the ground if you can. So you said this is lying down pigeon. Lots of different ways to do a pigeon. And what this does is really just stretch out those hips. We did a lot of hip work. Booty, hip, thigh, hamstring, you name it, we did it. We hit it from every angle. A little bit of core work in there too. So you might feel sore on the sides of your body. And that's to be expected. When I'm sore, I really like to walk, stretch, or work it out. That tends to help me. <clears throat> Drinking lots of water, that'll help too. Bananas, those help. All right. Go ahead and bring it up for me, slowly. Take your time. Come into a staff pose. Toes up to the sky. Best posture you can manage. <laughs> I want you to reach up to the sky and forward fold. Try to grab those toes if you can. If you can't, place your hands down here by your, your shins, your calves, and just release. Relax that neck, relax those shoulders, and just allow your hamstrings to release. Good work. I hope you had fun today. It was new and interesting, probably, maybe, unless you've done something like this before. I love working out with those slides. It really forces you to use the right muscle groups in whatever position you're in. <clears throat> All right, go ahead, bring in that left foot. We're gonna deepen our hamstring stretch here. Reach up and grab that right foot. Ah. And you don't want to feel this in your low back. If you do, I want you to back off just a little bit and stay up here and just focus on lengthening your spine and not rounding. You want to feel it in your hamstring, not your back. And sometimes if you're feeling it in your back, it's because you're hunching or rounding. And you really need to just come up. Good job. Switch sides. Reach up to the sky and fall forward. I always go a little bit longer with the stretching. I feel like it keeps me from getting sore. My kids are always saying, Mommy, are you stretching again? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and come into that crouching position. You're on your toes. Your heels are. This is a great way to just stretch out your Achilles. I know it seems like maybe you're not doing anything, but usually you're kind of resting on your heels. <clears throat> okay, go ahead and forward fold. Straighten those legs the best you can. Hang out here, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Bend your knees, roll it up nice and slow and we'll do one quad stretch and we'll be all done. All right, go ahead and bring that right heel into your buttocks. And sometimes if you have a hard time balancing, you could grab onto that left earlobe, it'll help you balance. I don't know why it works, but it does. Or you can grab onto a chair, countertop, kid. If you have a kid nearby, that works too. All right. 
Switch sides. Breathe into it. Take a deep breath in. Release that quad. Good work. Okay, one inhale up. Exhale into prayer. Thanks for being here today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.